All right, I'm here for the Mad Aussie Challenge week number five, where we have to impression a lock. I'm gonna use the same lock I've been using. That's already been picked and the rear removed because for step one, I want to go ahead and take the pins that are in here and just kind of mix them up some and then just put them in to, uh, I have to actually look at them because I have to see that they're the right way around, but I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to remember. Just slap random ones into random chambers to just mix it up some. And last one. Oop. See? Oh, whoa, is that backwards? No, that's right. Okay. Um, and then we'll put it back in. And that'll be our lock that we use. So it's locked up. Put these screws back on. So uh, I'll put these screws on and I'll get it in a vise and then uh, we'll resume with the checking for the first mark and start our impressioning process. All right, here we are set up for stage, stage two. I've gone ahead and put a um, key in my, what could be vice scripts, but this is an actual impressioning tool. And I've marked out the uh, key spacing, which you can get from a lock reference sheet like this one. Uh, this was the former pinning of this lock, but now it's all scrambled. So um, here you're going to look for spacings on the key. So you can mark where you want to roughly follow the path down. And what I did on my previous impressioning video, like the tutorial video, is I cut down to these specific depths each time I saw an impression. I'm going to do it more the classic way today. I'm just going to look for impression do like one or two passes and then go on. And since this is a challenge video, I won't go too much into the detail of what I'm doing. Um, you can watch that impressioning video if you wanna learn more about impressioning. So I've, I've prepared this. Usually I'd prepare like a little notch on each of them, but I'm just gonna start with nothing. Um, get some files out. These are Pippin's files. They're perfect for, for this task. You need your loop so that you can um, see what you're doing, see your uh, impressions. And we'll go ahead and just put this in here and give this a rotate so I can, and then we're going to rotate it uh, pretty hard. And then we're going to go and try to get an impression. I'm going to rotate the other way and try to get an impression. It helps if the lock is held tighter in there because the whole lock was churning there. I'm going to get an impression and you can go back and forth as much as you want. And then we look on here and try to see if we see an impression. Now, naked eye usually doesn't work. So get your loop. Uh, helps to take off the glasses. Let's see. Um, all right, I see a mark on the last position. A lot of times you'll see marks on multiple positions. It doesn't help that I have these little black lines on here for the spacing. Usually I'd start my lines there, then those won't be in the way. But I see a little. I don't know if this is going to show up at all in here, but I see a little dot on the edge of this top guy here. But if you're not sure, just put it back in. Uh, run it a few more times like that. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then just look again at your, at your key until you can be sure. You want to measure twice, cut once, right? Okay, so now now another mark has showed up on this like number five one. So I'm just gonna put some files on the last two where they are. Um, one advantage is I know none of these are a zero cut. Uh, so I could theoretically just file them all down a little bit. But I'm gonna treat it like I don't know anything. So let's go ahead and put a couple, get this guy started here. <laughs> A lot of this will be fast forwarded or cut it at cut a lot of this will be fast forwarded or cut out so I'll just keep talking and I'll oh my gosh I can't get this started so if you can't get it started start it with the edge of a of a flat file just get a groove in there Good. All right, so afterwards, my key looks all chewed up. 
which is not good. So it's always good to have some sandpaper on hand. Clean off some of that damage I did. And you can try to get up in there like that, or you can use your other Pippin file and try to make it nice and clean. Very light, I'm barely touching it. That's why it makes so much noise. better if I had a table vise that was clamped down like I would do this in the garage where it's clamped down to the workbench so it's nice and stable for you to do this usually this would be in a door which would be super stable compared to this uh, yeah it's not even level this table has like slats in it and yeah it's terrible terrible Okay, now I see a good one. I see a really solid mark right on the middle of this. Um, not sure if that shows up, but on the middle of one, two, three, four, the fourth pin here is a pretty solid mark in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll take my rougher file and I'll just go over that twice. You don't want to take too much. That's already starting to eat um, some ridges down the length of that key. And I might take my fine file if it if it looks too rough. And then the first the first pin you want to go look at is kind of that one that you just messed with because it's likely that that one will keep being the binder up until you get it down to the right depth. I see a mark in the middle, right in the middle of number five. So I'm going to go ahead and attack that. And probably after, <clears throat> I'm guessing I'll have fast forwarded a lot of things through here, but um, the camera has limited time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of this offline. I'll come back, do some more, do a lot offline and so on, because it's going to take a long time to make a key, you can see. <laughs>
Alright, so I don't have too much video to edit. I'm going to cut and uh, be back after we do some more. So I'm back and I ended up doing the rest of it on the much more stable vise. Um, so here's the results. Uh, key that works in it. Um, I ended up filing down a lot of the uh, peaks to make it really nice and smooth going in and out. And it works better than my last one even. It doesn't catch like my last one uh, caught. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't cover much about the process, but I recently did a, um, a video on how to impression. So if you want some tips, you can watch that one. It's kind of long, but it goes through the entire key making process. Um, also, uh, a reminder that um, my giveaway ends October 11th. So you need to get your entries in by then if you want to participate. Uh, thanks, Alex, for running the Mad Aussie Challenge, week number five. I look forward to week number six. Thanks.